Junior doctors in the UK have a new name. As of September 18th, 2024, the BMA has formally adopted Resident Doctor as the new title to replace Junior Doctor. The most obvious question that generates is why? And this comes from the discordance in the idea that someone very highly trained and very experienced can still perversely be called Junior. It just doesn't make a lot of sense. Because in my experience, when you say Junior Doctor to a member of the public or even people in my own family, there are still many people that think that junior doctor means the same thing as medical student or student doctor, that is, someone undertaking their degree at university to one day qualify as a doctor. Or perhaps that it might mean the same thing as newly qualified doctor or foundation doctor, someone at the very start of their medical career. And before we move on, I do want to point out that just because foundation doctors, relatively speaking to other doctors, are quite newly qualified, they could still very much be the one saving your life at two in the morning on a Saturday. And I know that because I've been there myself. But for some clarity, junior doctor does have a formal meaning, or it did have. That is, anyone qualified as a doctor, but that has not yet finished their medical training to become a consultant or a GP, with the notable exception of SAS doctors, who have their own pathway and contract. But what this definition means is that the day one newly qualified foundation year one doctor who has just finished their medical schooling, just as much as the STA vascular surgeon one week away from being a consultant saving your life again at three in the morning and stopping you from bleeding to death. Both of these things and everything in between are junior doctors. And I think it's been felt for some time that this label junior therefore serves little actual benefit. What are we learning? Because we already have labels for newly qualified doctors, which we call foundation doctors, and we already have labels for the grades of specialty trainees that tell you how experienced one is from ST1, ST2, ST3, all the way up to ST8. Applying junior in any of these contexts isn't particularly helpful, where we already have terminology that describes the thing we're trying to describe. And it's also not something that other professions do. You don't have junior nurses, junior pharmacists, or junior paramedic. You might be newly qualified for a year, for example, but one doesn't then stay a junior nurse you are a nurse, and that is the professional title afforded to you. So why the term resident specifically? Why is it that this word has been chosen? As many of you will, I'm sure, know, the term resident is used primarily in the United States and in similar countries that mimic their postgraduate education system. Places like Canada, Mexico, Brazil, Spain, all of these countries use the word resident in the same way that we would say a specialty trainee or a registrar. And as per the BMA's website, there were other terms that were considered here, simply using the word doctor, although that's perhaps too broad because it describes literally all doctors when what you're trying to do is describe a subset of them. Trainee as a word has the same problems that junior does in that someone can be very easily confused into thinking it's a medical student that has not qualified as a doctor yet. A non-consultant hospital doctor was the other one that was tabled, but it's a big mouthful and it also overlaps too closely with SAS doctors, that is the specialty doctors and specialist grades, which again have their own pathway and terminology that applies to them. And ultimately, resident doctors was the one voted in by the membership, and will be recognised by NHS England, Royal Colleges and other key stakeholders as well. So the time of junior doctors is firmly over, and the age of the resident doctor begins, and this is a pretty significant landmark in because the profession is obviously pretty conservative when it comes to matters of titling, terminology and history, as one would expect from a profession that's hundreds of years old. So seeing something like this change is actually a pretty big deal, and I'd love to know what you think of the name change down in the comments. Let me know, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.